Today's art project, color wheel flowers inspired by the amazing Japanese artist, Takashi Murakami. You're gonna need, if you're at home, your art kit. But don't worry, if you never got it, you can do this whole project using crayons, colored pencils, or whatever you have at home. Before we start, here's an introduction to this amazing artist and his work. Kanye West album covers, Kid Cudi's chains, Drake's hoodies, and an Art Basel art piece with Pharrell. Takashi Murakami's beaming multicolored flowers are everywhere. And that's just a few. Since the first Murakami Flowers artworks debuted in 1995, the flowers have steadily taken over fashion. More recently, a flowery Supreme and Takashi Murakami box logo raised over 1 million US dollars for COVID-19 relief. The flower is uh, very important in uh, Japanese traditional painting. That's why I made uh, my style of the flower stuff. Murakami flowers have surpassed the reach of fashion too. You can spot them in even the most far-flung environments. Artworks and sculptures at the Palace of Versailles in 2010, Google's homepage for the 2011 summer solstice, and at the Macy's Day Parade later that year when Murakami dressed full head-to-toe flower regalia. This artist, Takashi Murakami, is incredibly popular right now. He doesn't only draw and paint flowers. He pulls on images from comic books, manga, pop culture, and traditional Japanese stories. This flower, though, is all over the art world, and we're going to use it as a way to talk about color. We're going to be mixing the primary colors into secondary colors and even tertiary colors. Those are the ones that go in between. Here are the materials you are going to need. Your square piece of paper from your art packet, these paints that I made for you, um, and a little cup of water from your kitchen. You can use your finger to paint with or a paintbrush if you've got one. I'm also gonna find something round to trace for the center of my flower. I'm using a roll of tape. You can use the lid of um, like a Tupperware, whatever works for you. I'm also using a Sharpie, but that's only so that you can see it. A pencil is fine. So pause the video, go get yourself a square piece of paper, your paint, a pencil, something to trace and some water. And remember, didn't get the packet? No problem, use any scrap paper and crayons, markers, whatever you've got. All right, did you get your stuff? Welcome back. Your first job is to trace or draw a circle in the middle of your paper. I'm bad at circles, so I chose to trace. Your next job is to make 12 flower petals. Here's how to do it. Start by drawing a straight line at the top and a straight line at the bottom. A straight line on one side and a straight line at the other. It's almost like we're drawing a clock. So we've got four lines. In between each section, you're gonna make two more lines like this. One, two. Space them out as evenly as you can. One, two, one, two. This is the hardest part. If your spaces aren't totally even, don't worry about it, it's fine. Now make a curve at the end of each little line. So right now it looks like the rays of a sun and we're turning it into a flower. If you want your flower to be spiky instead of round, you can make that happen too. And if you just got confused, go back, watch it again and pause it after every step. You can do this. You did it, woohoo! Your next job is to make a face for your flower. You can copy Takashi's face um, if you like it what he does is sideways ovals, and you'll see there are some little dots, and then he colors in the rest. Or you can make your own kind of expression. Um, he made a video with Billie Eilish, the singer, where he animated the entire thing, and his flowers are there, and then they get destroyed by Billie Eilish, who turns into a giant spider, and the facial expressions are, like, pretty crazy. But yeah, any facial expression you want. After you're done with that part of the job, it's time to paint. Now, this paint isn't that exciting, but it does the job. We can mix colors with it. I always start with red. So I'm gonna just stick my finger in the water, move it around on my red, and you can see I didn't get enough paint, so you have to do it a couple times. So water, paint, paper, water, paint, paper. It helps to have a paper towel, clean your finger, to make sure all my colors are in the right spot for a full color wheel, I'm going to leave three white spaces empty, and then the fourth one is gonna be yellow. 
I know it's confusing. If you get mixed up, don't worry about it. It doesn't even have to be in the right order as long as you get all the different colors. So three white ones, yellow. Then I'm going to leave three more white ones. And then the fourth one is blue. So I've got my three primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. Now it's time to mix secondary colors. So between red and blue, you've got purple. And since your finger and paintbrush already have this color on them, let's make those tertiary colors. Between blue and purple is like a bluey purple color. So try adding a lot of blue and a teeny bit of red. On the other side, try adding a lot of red and a teeny bit of blue for a dark red purple. So again, these are called tertiary colors. Now you're ready to make your next secondary color. So red and yellow make orange. Great. Between orange and yellow, you'll get yellow orange. And between orange and red, you'll get red orange. So try adding a lot of red and only a little bit of yellow. It is really fun to play around and try to get something that's right in between. Now you're ready for your last secondary color. Blue and yellow make green, right? Between green and yellow, you've got a very light green, a very yellow green. And between green and blue, add a lot of blue, a little bit of yellow, and you should get turquoise or blue green. Once you're done with the painting part, and again, it's okay if it gets a little messy, you can paint the middle or color it with marker or crayon any way you want to. You can paint the background, you can add any kinds of details that are interesting to you, but I hope you have fun blending and mixing colors because that's what today is all about.